Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Path to DevOps series. I'm Shiki and today we're going to dive into the three applications we plan to use in order to apply DevOps principles on top of. If I've picked your interest, then let's jump right to business. First, let's start with the presentation which describes the three applications. And don't worry about the name, this is the right presentation, it's just the whole stack of three microservices is called Barb Art. And it's a funny story. I might actually make a video about it one day, but right now let's talk technicalities. Here you can see the main microservices in this stack. And it's basically three of them, one front end and two back ends. And next to each one, you can see the technologies that were used in order to create them. Don't worry, you don't need to have any coding experience when interacting with these microservices, but if you do, it will help you to a certain extent. In order for the stack to function properly, you first need to start the two backend microservices. When they start, they will need a MySQL database to connect to, and that is declared in the application's properties. We will go through that a bit later. So they connect to the database and then comes the front end that needs to start last and it will try to find the backends, uh, the backends host names in order to pull information in JSON format from them and to show it on the web page. So this is basically how the full stack working together would look like. Now, if we also introduce a user in our diagram, basically the user will or should only communicate with the front end and open the web page in their browser in order to access the application stack. Now that we've taken a look at the architectural design of the three microservices and how they work together, let's put on our user caps and see what page will be presented to us when we access the front end. So I'm running this all locally using Docker containers and we will learn about this technology in a future video. But for the time being, don't worry. Uh, I'll just access the front end page and this is what we get. Um, yeah, I'll just make it smaller. We have products here on the page, uh, some info about the product, a buy now button, a picture, a logo. So fun fact, Barbart is actually a fictional company that I invented with a friend and it sells beard dye. Um, having said that, where do we use the backends and how do we integrate with them? Well, the first one, the product API, brings information from a database and serializes it as JSON. As you can see here, uh, if we select the first object, we have ID equals to one, name is Yellowbeard, price is 999 euro. And this is the exact same information we see on the front end being served to us. The second backend, the cart API, is even simpler. It just returns a string. And in order to get this string, we need to action the buy now button. And we will get the notification telling us that this feature is not implemented. We can't buy online. We need to order by mail. The code for these three applications is available publicly if you choose to download them in order to follow along. Uh, you can find that source code in my GitHub account, uh, which I will be linking in the description down below. This is basically how it looks like and you need to aim for the Path to DevOps initial setup repository. In here, you will see a nice description of what Barbart and Path to DevOps are supposed to be, what technology we technologies we will be using in the Path to DevOps journey, and it links back to the YouTube channel. Um, I will be making an in-depth video about each of these applications and how you can compile them locally and what technologies will be necessary for you to compile them locally. This is a very important part of the process because in order to automate something, uh, as we DevOps need to do quite often, you need to understand that process in depth. So I suggest you download the applications and you try to compile them locally in order to understand how they're supposed to be packaged, what the result is and how you can actually configure them. For example, the product API and the cart API require a database URL 
connection string basically and the username and a password to connect to that database which I've hashed out for obvious reasons um, so yeah you will need a database as well um, we'll follow that up in future videos but for the time being I want to emphasize a few ideas the first one would be that this is a very simplistic stack of applications I don't plan on winning any coding competition with any of them uh, it's just here to serve the purpose of being used through a DevOps process okay so I didn't want to burden you with a lot of knowledge on this coding side of thing on this aspect and I just decided to build my own simple applications one front end two back ends a database a minimal minimal project that we can use in order to automate it and create this DevOps ecosystem around them uh, the second one would be the fact that you might have heard me using terms like microservices throughout this video. I don't want to go in depth and explain what a microservice is. I'm fairly certain there are other people out there on YouTube or other resources who have explained this topic way better than me. So if you want to understand it, just jump on one of their videos and follow along. That being said, thank you for your time and see you in the next video.